Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Hi, Scuddy. I know it's it's a Chevy Express, and the engine is nothing special. It's just standard Chevy engine. And the tires are nothing special either. They're just semi off roadish nothing special about the exhaust either it's smoke comes out of it just a little it's got regular Chevy lights same thing in the front nothing special about the grill no high performance wiper blades just standard cargo van mirrors nothing special about the dash now on top of the roof that's where it begins to get interesting I not only have a roof vent I also have a solar panel and security cameras all the way around. They were very nice while they worked. Unfortunately, they're garbage and they don't work anymore. This is a 2014 Chevy Express. It's a 4.8 V8 engine. It's a six speed automatic transmission, 285 horsepower. Front and rear disc brakes with front disc brake wear sensor. Front independent suspension. Two stage multi leaf rear spring. Front stabilizer bar. Stability control. Traction control system. Airbags dual front. Daytime running lights theft deterrent system tire pressure monitor 16 inch steel wheels front air conditioner power windows and door locks i also installed an alarm system and i can go on my phone turn the van on unlock the doors turn on the alarm see exactly where my van is at all times from the outside the van looks completely like any other van almost except for the solar panel and the roof vent and all that but inside, this is where the van shines. It doesn't have a fancy engine. It doesn't go tremendously fast. It just works. When I'm not working, I'm traveling across the country in this homemade camper. I got less than 50 square feet of usable space, but I got everything I need. I have a nice comfortable bed. I got a TV. I have two refrigerators. One I can turn into a freezer if I want to. I have roof vents. I have lights. I have cabinets. I have tables. I have an inverter. Plenty of plugs. I have everything I need in here. I can even take a shower in here if I want to. Seriously. Look. One of the first things I did was install the rain guard on the two front windows. I connected a device called the Sterling Power. It brings power to my house batteries and allows me to charge them while I drive. In 2015, I installed this device called the Webasto heater. It's very common in other places like in Europe. They use them to keep the trucks heated. It's about the size of a loaf of bread. Whatever temperature I set the heater at, it stays at that temperature all night long. Until last year, I only had one 35 quart refrigerator from Dometic. It's either a refrigerator or a freezer. I can set it for either or. Last winter when I was in Florida, I purchased a 25 quart refrigerator. The settings allow the refrigerator to go all the way down to zero Fahrenheit. Of course, I couldn't have the refrigerators if it wasn't for my solar panel, 325 watts. I did all the wiring myself, installed all these lights. I have four different lights. I have three vents, two smaller vents that fit under my solar panel. My bigger one is a fantastic vent. So far, I don't have an air conditioner, but that's about to change because I just ordered a 12 volt air conditioner. It's actually an air conditioner that works on either 12 volt or 110. I have a Morningstar MPPT charge controller. I have two AGM batteries from Lifeline, 255 amps each. Everything you see in here, I've done myself. All the wiring, all the fans, the lights, the cabinets, everything that's in here, I did it myself. I started building the van in spring and summer of 2014. I continued through the winter, continued the following summer, and then off and on, I've done some minor changes here and there, or add-ons like this stuff here. It used to be a desk, and, and then eventually I never used a desk, so I turned this into, into a cabinet for stuff that I need more than a desk. And I do all the oil changes when I have to do them. I do all the maintenance. For the future though, I intend on getting something that I can stand up in because that makes 
make, makes a whole lot of difference. It, you can compare when you can stand up versus sitting down all the time. So yes, that's for the future, maybe near future. It's not fancy, it's just a cargo van, but it has taken me all across the country to the Badlands and Mount Rushmore, to Yellowstone and to the high plains of Montana, to Idaho and to the Painted Hills of Oregon, to the Pacific Ocean and to the Redwoods, to the Golden Gate Bridge and to Reno, Nevada, Death Valley, Las Vegas, to the Grand Canyon and to Monument Valley, the mountains of Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, all across the country, to the nice sandy beaches of Florida on the west coast, and to the Atlantic coast. This is not just a van. This is my home on wheels. My van doesn't go very fast. Doesn't have fancy stuff. But when I come back here, no matter where I'm at in this country, whenever I come back here, I am home. My name is Lewis, and I chronicle my journey across this country. And Scotty, Keep on revving those engines. Well, that was this week's video. And to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.